Mm. Announcing to LA that Tupac died. Me too. Is another show. Even in New York. That continues to come back. You remember what that show felt like? Oh God, yeah. It was on the air. You know what's so crazy that I tell this story in my book too that the um when Pac passed, you know, it wasn't social media like that. Right, so it didn't right, spread like that. Right. I called the hospital. I, f- I was on the air and called the hospital because I kept calling to check on him. Um just to check during the days when Pac was still yeah, with was, us, yeah, yeah, just checking I, up on him. I called the hospital and um and somebody on the phone just like told me that Pac passed had passed, and but people didn't really know yet; it hadn't come yeah. out or spread. And she told me on the phone, and I was on the air, and um and so that's how I was found that out. call live, or it, you had it wasn't live. But then I wound up telling the city, and it, yeah. and I cried, and I was I never cried on the radio. You mm. know, we we don't cry on the radio, right? You know, but there was it was um. You know, people to this day will tell me, I remember that day. They remember that? Because it happened in the moment. And when you said no social media, that's the same. That yeah. It was the same. It was like, I remember we heard something. But that's the things that connect us to our audience, right? Yeah. That's the things that we we remember forever, you and I, because we, we had to do it. But also the people that were listening and were with us. Yeah. That's what really connects us to our Yeah, man. And, and, have, and it's raw. They grew up with us. They grew it's, up with us. it's mm-hmm. raw and it's not rehearsed. And yeah. I remember the same. We came in and they were like, man, we're hearing certain things. I remember we huddled in an office and we were talking in the office and we started making calls. And then we got like a legitimate person on the phone mm-hmm. that was. And when that person was like, yeah, man, you know, we lost them. So on and so forth. Of course, it's not social media. It wasn't this wildfire that spread. And I remember Angie literally walking from that office back to this to the uh, the booth and thinking, I got to tell people that Pac is gone. That's awful. And this is crazy to me. It was like almost like that graduation step where you just take one step, you pause. Next step, you pause. And I remember not fast forward to, you know, the years now and he, and Pac is still held so very high. I knew what it was at that moment. Mm. And it felt crazy. And the phone lines going off and people calling in and people were really, really affected, especially the days of Pac being alive. And then having to announce that he passed because people were thinking like, man, oh, he took, you know, he got shot before and Pac could get through this and you have the well wishes. But, you know, that that was another show. Yeah. That I remember. Of, well, we were all young, too. None yeah. of us are prepared for that. 